Many years ago, I was a young TV producer, and National Geographic Television called me and asked me to do a special on the Marco Polo sheep. Now, the Marco Polo sheep is the largest of the species of sheep. It weighs up to 300 pounds, and it has that large horn that wraps around its head, it weighs almost 70 pounds. Now, they did not have good footage on the Marco Polo sheep in its natural habitat, which is the Pamir Mountains between Afghanistan and Pakistan. I was excited to do it, so I grabbed my cameraman and we went there. We climbed 11,000 feet to our base camp, stayed overnight, the next morning another 4,000 feet to a plateau that we were shooting from. It was really quite a trek. I got my field glasses and I'm looking on the other side of the mountain where the sheep was supposedly living and I saw one. John, that's my cameraman, there's a Marco Polo. He zooms in on him and gets a beautiful shot as he traverses the mountain from rock to rock. It was wonderful. I'm excited, man. National Geographic's going to be very, very happy and I'm going to get an Emmy. All of a sudden I hear this click. It's the sound of a rifle. I look over, my Sherpa who was hauling our gear, had a rifle with him to shoot predators. He shot, goes off and the Marco gets hit and he falls to his death, 500 feet. What are you doing, man? Why would you shoot him? This is not a hunting film. You will see, that's all he could say. You will see. We climbed down four hours. I was fuming the entire way. The Sherpa got on one knee and he, bowed his head and said a prayer. And then he opened his mouth and he said, see, all his teeth are worn down because of many, many years of grinding the teeth on rocks and hard food. He would have died a horrible death. And this animal has got over 200 pounds of meat. He will feed our village for an entire month. I looked down at him and I understood now that maybe this trip had more meaning than I thought. A couple of days later, we went to their village and had a meal with him using this food. I looked around at his friends and his family that we were eating with, and I could see in their faces how they were enjoying this meal and what it meant to them. And I really realized that the important thing about this trip to the Pamir Mountains was not my film or National Geographic or an Emmy. It was about the humane death of that animal, but most importantly about how these people were being fed and how important it was to have that meat. Thank you very much.